But we also do want to mention that there is a potential issue for this one fluid if it's too dry. Yeah. Years ago, uh, EPRI, the Electrical Power Research Institute, uh, released a study on maintaining phosphate ester fluids and it, it surprises me that there is not as much knowledge of that document today as, right. as I would expect. Uh, because it's not uncommon for me to go into power plants and look at their oil analysis and look at their upper limits, lower limits, or as some people call them, target values, and they're well outside of the realm of what EPRI actually recommended. And when it comes to water, EPRI recommended a water content at or below 500 parts per million, which is the number that, that, that we recommend as well because it's in line with, 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 with that particular study. Uh, they also recommend the acid number be below 0.1. Uh, but it's not uncommon to go into a plan and look at their analysis and they'll have a 0.2 or a 2000 ppm value for water and they'll have a 0.2 number for acid. And like we mentioned earlier, if you're above 500 ppm, acid is being produced at an accelerated rate. If you're using some of the older technologies, Fuller's Earth or activated alumina, as the acid is removed, metals go into the fluid. Uh, and then another interesting thing about this fluid, this fluid has very poor air release properties as it is. Uh, when you get dissolved metals in this fluid at or above around 10 parts per million, excluding obviously phosphorus because it's, it, it's a phosphate ester, uh, the, the actual air release properties are pretty much an annihilated. And at that point in time, you, you begin to have pseudo-cavitation, or some people call it micro-dieseling, where you're actually causing air bubbles to form in the fluid at the inlet side of a high-pressure pump, and then on the discharge side, discharge pressures in these systems are 12 to 1800 PSI. Those bubbles implode. That causes damage to the pump in and of itself, but it also causes damage to the fluid. It'll actually burn it.